Welcome back to the Media Box on the 28th session of the Congress of Local and Regional Authorities. My name is Keely Sullivan and I'm joined today by Ms. Juliana Hoja. Ms. Hoja, welcome. Nice to meet you. And um, just to begin, could you please explain for us an overview of the situation of Roma in Albania? Actually, Romas are facing lots of challenges at the moment, although they make a very small percentage of our population, which is almost unusual compared to the situation in the Balkans. In Albania, they make almost 3%. There are lots of issues mainly related to education, I have to say, um, um, issues regarding segregation of uh, Roma pupils at the school level. Um, access to education system. Um, most of the schools, but also health facilities, are mm -hmm. not very accessible by the Roma people, comparing, uh, taking into consideration the distance where they live. Mm -hmm. And um, they make um, a good percentage of population that live under the poverty line. Um, so there is lots of um, um, issues re uh, related to unemployment, health and education, I would say. But sheltering also, it is one of the issues that uh, has becoming quite pressing at the moment um, because of the uh, public works that are taking place. So most of the Roma people have been displaced without uh, being offered uh, alternative uh, sheltering. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the most uh, uh, pressing issues that um, also, in a way, make the agenda for central and local government. Mm -hmm. um, in the recent uh, years, especially the last two years, there are efforts at mainly central level, I have to say, mm -hmm. to find, especially when it comes to sheltering, to uh, provide uh, alternative sheltering um, opportunities for Roma. But um, I think the main challenges remain with local government because they are the main providers of services or people. And uh, considering the um, limited budget the local government has, but also um, very few competences when it comes to uh, authority to generate funds, but also uh, set priorities that goes with the funding, um, the uh, local government face very limited, they have very limited authority, which becomes then a burden with regard to addressing some of these Roma issues at the local level. Right, and with these, these obstacles in mind, how should local authorities approach the situation? Um, I think there is, um, I'm very optimistic because at the moment um, in Albania we are going through um, a decentralization reform mm -hmm. and it is uh, expected that um, uh, part of that actually uh, is uh, fiscal decentralization which um, opens the door and creates opportunities for local government to be more proactive in addressing all the issues that I listed uh, above. And um, um, one, besides uh, funding, one thing that um, I see local government playing a more active role is when it comes to giving Roma space to be part of setting these priorities. And um, uh, I know that um, that is also part of the discussion, not only in Albania, but um, for me that is very important uh, when discussing um, uh, access to services, quality of services, and I think Roma should be part of these processes. Um, in Albania at the moment we are um, uh, very much putting emphasis on uh, open and participatory mm -hmm. processes, but when it comes to marginalized groups like Roma, uh, that doesn't come that easily. Mm -hmm. So I think local government should play a more um, active role to that regard. Um, and then as we are in the eve of uh, uh, elections in Albania in almost two months, um, participation of Roma in elections is also crucial because um, in Albania they have proven to be um, quite an important factor in certain localities where they make a high percentage um, with regard to uh, uh, elections. So um, um, it is important to give Roma um, 
the rights to be part of these electoral processes and that starts with electoral votes, which is one of the competences of local government actually, Roma registration. Right, we're right. And um, you also mentioned previously that there was a competence problem in local government. Mm -hmm. Could you just elaborate on that, please? Yeah. Um, at the moment, um, local government doesn't have discretionary uh, when it comes to, um, uh, or has very limited discretionary when it comes to uh, setting uh, uh, budget priorities. And as most of the budget comes from central government, mm -hmm. um, sometimes making even 65 or 70 percent, and that is a conditional funding, so it's central government that sets uh, the budget lines, that doesn't give much space to local government to address um, local issues. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, uh, local government doesn't have the authority for uh, part of local taxes to uh, set local taxes and uh, collect local taxes, which make uh, quite a considerable revenue for any local government that will give uh, local government the um, flexibility mm -hmm. to uh, address in a timely and fashionable uh, manner the uh, local needs. So um, we hope that with these changes, um, some of these issues will be addressed. But another important development in Albania is the uh, administrative reform. So we have, um, we have gone in the last six months through an increase of uh, size of municipalities from uh, 385 to uh, uh, 51 municipalities. Mm. Uh, so um, the, the increase in size of municipalities uh, in a way will provide local governments more um, ground to do more sound planning um, um, and um, in this way I hope that also services when it comes to Roma will be better uh, integrated local government level. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, uh, taking into consideration all that you've mentioned, what would you say is the biggest uh, stumbling block for realizing successful Roma integration? Um, I, would say, I would say from two perspectives, so on one side um, from the government, local government side, mm -hmm. um, I would see uh, two issues, mm -hmm. legal competences as I said, but second also capacities in local government, mm -hmm. uh, capacities in um, uh, understanding and addressing complexity of Roma um, issues and uh, we have to admit that there are lots of uh, prejudices uh, about this um, uh, the group and uh, on the other hand it has to do with capacity of uh, Roma community um, to articulate, be vocal and uh, uh, participate. In Albina, one of the most pressing issues seeing from the Roma perspective is the uh, representation issue. So, um, although there are Roma groups, um, some of them are not that well organized, so they are not uh, part of the public discussion. Right. In some cases you have uh, non-Roma people um, leading such initiatives. So uh, in a way, although there is lots of sometimes political discussion about Roma issue, I think uh, as long as Roma are not part of that, it loses legitimacy. So. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.